example problem the example uh, the problem solving approach has been applied to a vast array of task environment we list some of the best known here distinguishing between toy and real world problem the toy problem is intended to illustrate or exercise various problem solving method it can be given a concise exact description and hence it is usually by different researchers to compare the formulation or compare the performance of algorithm so the problem is defined in two part or two uh, category one is called toy problem another is called real world problem so what happen in the toy problem the in the toy problem the consequences are not is is uh, is very less means uh, because i am formulating the problem related to a toy so definitely my uh, my changes to the environment will be very less and uh, we know what are the exact thing that we can do we can actually control the environment in the toy problem but what happened in the real world problem in the real world problem is one whose solution people actually care about such problem tend not to have a single agreed upon description but we can give the general flavor of other formulation here it is saying that here we doesn't have the the one solution or the one actions that all will be agreed upon in the real world as well as here the consequences are more here the people are actually care uh people means here uh, the problem is into the real world so whatever the real world problem we are going to solve the consequences are high second thing the environment is not in our control so we cannot control the environment whatever action will perform based on that particular action the environment will behave so the problem is uh is category in two way from toy problem and the real world problem let's see the let's see one of the problem that is the vacuum word or the cleaning agent problem in the cleaning agent problem what are the action we have we can go left we can go right or we can start suction so what is my initial state initial state could be any anyone i might be in in room a i might be in room b so the vacuum cleaner might be in room a or vacuum cleaner might be in room b these are my initial state so i don't have one state right i have two states as a initial state let's say if my vacuum cleaner is in is in the same room let's say room a it is in room a now in room a if i take left where i'll be i'll be in room a only so that's why there is a self loop if we are take the action left now from room from room a if we take the action right where will be the vacuum cleaner will be in a in this particular state right now if we are in this particular initial state if we'll take a right so right means we are in the same same room room b so we are in the same state but one will take left from that particular room will go to room a right so here all the action has been performed and all the state has been explored now we are here now what we do is we'll start the suction when we start the suction what will happen what will happen the a room a will be clean so when we start the suction the room a will be clean this is my state in this state when i'll go left i'll be in the same state when i'll do suction i'll be in the same state because there is no dirt but when i'll go right i'll be in another state right so this is a i i'll go to the b room now when i'll in the b room if i'll take right i'll be in the b room only but when i'll take left i'll be here but when i'll do suction this dirt will be clean 
and I'll be here. So I am in room B and I have done the suction here, right? So this is over. The exploration of this state is over. Now here, when I do suction, what will happen? The B will be clean. This is my state. The A is dirt, but B is clean. Now, if I'll be, if I'll go right, I'll be in the same state. If I'll do suction, I'll be in the same state because it is clean. For cleaning, I have to go left. When I'll go left, I'll be here in A state. Now, I'll, when I'll go left, I'll be in the same state. But when I'll do the suction, what will happen? I'll well, make the state change and I'll go to another state. So this is another state where the room is clean right now. And I am in the clean room. When I'll go left, I'll be in the same room. When I'll do suction, I'll be in the same state. But when I'll do right, when I'll go right, I'll go into another state. So what is my goal? My goal is both the room should be clean. So I have achieved the goal. So this is my goal state. This is my one goal state. This is G1. This is my another goal state. So where I have, what are the action that we have taken to reach that particular goal, right? So the first action that I have taken, let's say I initial state. What is my initial state? So the initial state is I am in room A, right? I am in, in room A and in A, in A is my initial state. If I'll consider this as an initial state. Then what is second? Second is action. So what are the action we have? What are the action we have? So actions are L, R, S. I can go left, I can go right, or I can do suction. L, R, S is my actions. The third one is the transition model. I have transition model, right? What is my transition model? What is my transition model? Transition model is I'm in one state. I'm in one state. I'll perform some action. I'll reach to another state. Means I, I am in here in A. I'll do the suction and I'll go to another state. I'll go to another state. Let's say S1. Okay, transition model. The third is a goal test. Sorry. So the fourth one is the goal test. So all the time we have to see whether we have achieved the goal or not. So what is the goal? Goal is both the rooms will be clean, right? And the fifth one is the cost. What is the cost I have taken, right? So let's do all those things. Now, I, if I'm in this particular state, I'll perform that particular action is suction. I'll reach this particular goal. This reach, after reaching the goal, I have to go right to reach in that particular goal and I'll do that suction. And I'll achieve the goal. This is my goal two and this is my goal one. So whatever goal I'll achieve, I'll achieve. So what are the action that we have performed? What are the solution that we are getting? So we are getting like this. I am in A. I'll perform the suction. I'll reach to another state. And in that particular, I'm in A. I'll go right. And then if I'll go right, I'll be in B. In B, I'll do the suction. Where I'll reach. I'll 
reach I'll be in, e, in B only, but it will be clean. So this is the action that we have performed. The first, first action is the suction. Second action is move right. Third action is suction. So suction where I am, move right and then suction. This is my first solution. What is my second solution? If I am here, if I am here, I'll do suction. I'll go left. I'll do again suction. This is my another solution. Suction, if I'm in B, I'll go left to go room A and then I'll again do the suction, right? So this is the action that will perform to reach the goal. This is, this diagram is nothing but the state space diagram. We'll go to one state to another state using the transition model. And we know what are the action we have. We know what are the goal we have. And we should know what are the costs that we have taken. So it may be the time. It may be the, the, maybe the electricity cost. So the cost may be anything, which is not defined here, but you can assume anything. So let's see the toy problem and try to understand here. This is nothing but the toy problem. This is nothing but the toy problem. So the state, the state is determined by both the agent location and the dirt location. The agent is in one of the two location, each of which might or might not contain the dirt. Thus, there are two into two into two. That will be two into two into two. Eight possible world environment, a world state. A large environment with n locations has n into two. To, it should be. n into to the power of n states. So the location are two. So two into to the power of n. It means two into to the power of two. So two into four, it will be eight. So we have eight state available. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, total number of states are eight. So the formula is like this. It will be n into two to the power of n. If I have n number of states or n number of locations available for a given agent. Initial state. Any state can be designated as initial state. Either this state is the initial state or this state is the initial state. Action in this simple environment, each state has been three action. Either we'll go left or we'll go right or we'll do suction. Large environment might also um, include up and down. So up and down is not at all here. We have only left, right and suction. Transition model on an action that uh, action uh, have their expected effect. Expect that move left in the left mode, most square, my right, uh, move right in the rightmost square and suction in clean square have no effect. The complete state space is shown in figure here, right? This is the complete state space diagram. So as you can see that some action has no state change. So here, if I am in the room A, if I'm in the room A, and uh, I'll, I'll do left. So definitely I'll be in the room A only because room A in the left one. But if I'll go right, I'll move to B, room B. Right? That is possible. So if I am in room A and I'm taking left, there is no action. If I am room B and taking right, there is no other state. If I am in room which is already clean, which is already clean and doing the suction, then I'll be in the same state. So these are the three possibility where I am in the same state. But other than that, whatever action I'll perform, I'll go to another state. The goal test, this checks whether all the square are clean or not. This is my goal test. Path cost, each step cost. So the path cost is the number of steps in the path. So how many steps we have taken is the cost. 
So we have taken like the suction and then we'll go to the right and then we'll do the suction. This is one solution. We'll, we'll do the suction, we'll go to the left or, and we'll do the suction. This is another solution. So what are the... What are the different uh, state we have transit? So from one state, another state, another state to another state. Another. So we have done the three state change, right? So this is one, this is two, and this is three to reach it. So three is the cost here. Now the same thing we'll do with the another try problem that is the eight puzzle problem. If this is the starting state, we have to reach the, this particular goal state. So where we can go, right? So we can do here a complete formulation, complete formulation we can do here, right? So what are the other possibility that, that will be? So if I am in this particular state, so what is my next state? My next state may be four. If I'm in this state, this is my initial state. So from here, I can go to S1 state, I can go to S2 state, I can go to S3 state, or I can go to S4 state. How? See, if I'm in this state, I can move this to here. This is my state one. If I'm here, if I'm in S, initial state, I can move this particular block to this empty, empty space. This is my second step or I can move this to this. This is my third step, third state. Or I can move this to up. This is my fourth state. So in any of the state I'll be if I'm in the initial state. So in that way, and if I am in this state, if I am in S1, S1 means five is moving here. So what is the next one? Next one is either seven can go here or eight can go up, right? So he, from here, I can go to two more state. Are you visualizing what I am saying? So in that way, I can make the state space and I, I am reaching the goal. If I am reaching the goal means I'll just have to stop and I'll see that what are the action that we have done. So what are the actions we have here is we can go up, we can go down, we can go left or we can go right. So these are the action that will perform. Five can go right, two can go down, six can go left and three can go up. So these are the different action that will be performed. So eight in the eight, eight puzzle, we have different uh, uh, state that we, can, that, that we can achieve as I told you here. And the path is nothing but one step is one cost. Cost one we'll see. So how many steps we have taken to achieve this particular goal or this particular step? There we have in a sequence one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you might have uh, uh, seen this particular uh, puzzle in your uh, childhood time, right? So you might have solved it you might not able to solve it. But the thing is that we can solve it with the help of program or with, with the help of the agent. We can give the probabilities to it. We can uh, give the initial state to it. It will tell what are the action that we have to perform to reach that particular goal. So it, it is possible and with the help of computing uh, devices, uh, we can do that very easily. Now let's go to the real world problem. That is that is the two try try problem we have seen. Now let's go to the real world problem. Now consider an airline travel problem that must be solved by travel planning website. Let's assume that we have a state and a state is nothing but each state obviously include a location, an airport and the current time. So what is our time and what are the and where my plane is, in which particular airport my plane is, okay? So that is my state. 
Furthermore, because the cost of an action, a flight segment, may depend on previous segment, their fare base and their state as domestic or international. The state must record extra information about these historical aspects. So a state may be, as, as we have just discussed, a state is defined as the airport and the current time. What is the airport right now and what is the current time? Next, next in the state would be whether it is a domestic airport or whether it is an international airport, right? And all those things are saying that it is depend upon many things. What is my base fare? Uh, where I am moving on? Whether I am within the country, I am moving or I am moving outside the country. These are the different state. Initial state, this is specified by the user query. What is my initial state is where I am right now. Action, action taken by flight from uh, the current location. It can uh, seat class leaving after uh, the current time, leaving enough time for within um, airport transfer if needed. So there are different action that can be performed. Like uh, I am sitting in the plane or I am uh, flying, right? I am landing. These are the three, st three actions that we can take or if uh, we are talking about the cargo, so the cargo is in the plane, cargo is uh, loading, cargo is unloading. These are different actions. Then the transition model, the state result from taking a flight uh, will, will have the flight destination as the current location and flight arrival time at the current time. So from that particular flight and the current time, we can go to another airport. So if I am in one airport, uh, I'm taking the flight and going to another destination and just having a different arrival time as the current time. So I'll be in a different airport. So in that way, I'll change the, change the state with the transition model. Then we have the goal state. Are we at the final destination specify the user that we have to check all the time. Then we have the past cost is depend upon the monetary cost waiting time, flight time, custom and immigration uh, procedure, seat quality, time of uh, day, type of airplane, uh, frequent uh, flyer, 